Well, hi, my name's Robin Davis from MomTheMagnificent.com. Thank you so much for taking time to chat with me today about all things Smurfs. Pleasure. I am a lifelong fan, so it's really cool to see new adventures and new characters and the Smurf legacy living on through this new series. I'm really enjoying it. Cool. Uh, great. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. So my first question is um, for you, Neela. How do you go about making Smurfs relevant for today's viewers? Well, um, that was the, the, the big challenge because we have such a big heritage, big shoes to fill, uh, uh, because all the fans that watched the so show in the 80s and the 90s are now moms or dads. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're not actually making only the show for the kids, but also for, for them. Um, so uh, it was to stay true to uh, the values of the Smurfs and of the, the, their universe, but to make it really appealing also for the kids of today, because of course, everything has changed uh, in over 30, 40 years. So um, we, we put in a lot of uh, layers of humor so mm -hmm. that it's interesting as well for the, for the parents or the, even the grandparents. Um, and uh, we made it really an adventurous show with, with fast paced action uh, so that the kids of today can, can enjoy it as well. I think you've done a great job at that because my father-in-law, my 16 year old son, myself and my 10 year old daughter can all sit in a room and enjoy laugh out loud. So you, you really have accomplished that goal. Yeah, that's great to hear. That's really what we wanted to do, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Mark, I'd love to hear from you. What is it like to play such an iconic villain and how do you get into this character? Ah, million dollar question. Um, so, uh, uh, um, yeah, well, what is it like playing him? It's, uh, it's a legacy. <laughs> yeah. So you don't, uh, you don't jump into it like you jump in a swimming pool uh, on a daring uh, Christmas Eve. Um, but you, I flesh him out. I, I do it like I do with every character. You kind of, I, I try to, um, bearing in mind there's legacy in the character. And he is like an iconic character and villains are always iconic when they're good. And he's a good character. So he's fun to play. So that makes it easier. Then of course I do, I do it like I do with any character. I just flesh him out. So I try to understand where, you know, what drove him to become who he is. You know, why is he like that? Why does he, why is he the old uh, uh, degenerate man living in this old decrepit house with a cat that's essentially more intelligent than he is, you know? And what's this obsession that drives him into coming up with all these wicked plans to try and capture these Smurfs? Um, and I think once you start kind of like building that character, then you get to play him. And then also, I don't want him to be just pure evil because I think um, I, I kind of, I feel sorry for him, you know? Mm -hmm. And I do think he is kind of, he's a bit unfortunate you know, he's a victim of circumstance as well. And if you if you bring those elements into that character, he becomes genuinely very funny. He becomes a human being, in fact. So you can feel kind of empathy, even though he may be evil, you can empathize with him, you know? You kind of feel sorry for him. And I think you have to, you know? <laughs> Definitely. Know. What do yeah, you think? I love getting it? the inside scoop on Gargamel. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I'd love to hear from both of you on this question. This was one my kids wanted me to ask. They're both still in school here, so they were sad they didn't get to join me for this one. But what uh, Smurf do you both relate to the most and why? Okay, good question. Good, great question. <laughs> I, I, have to go in, I have to go first, but yes, I, I felt like I was the one that had to jump off the deep end. Okay. Um, I tell you what, actually, I would, I would actually, um, my favorite is actually Smurfette. Mm -hmm. And and the reason is very simple is that I think she's evolved really well yeah. uh, compared to the series of the seventies. I think they fleshed her out, and she's more of an interesting character. And she's kind of she's she's very affirmative, but without being kind of like a hardline what I would refer to as a hardline feminist, which which wouldn't make much sense. Mm -hmm. So I think she's a strong character. She's dry. She drives. And I think, and she has lots of humor and, and the way we, we play her is, is precisely like that. So, you know, she is quirky as well. She is, yeah. you know, she's very human in that sense. So I think that's my favorite character. That's mine too, Smurfette. There you go. Yeah. Great minds and meet. I was exactly, yeah. 
I was exactly going to say the same thing, but for a different reason, I think, because I, I grew up with with uh, with the series in the eighties. Oh, I'm old. Um, but uh, then there, as a girl, you could only relate to Smurfette because she mm -hmm. was the only, the only girl in the village, and I think uh, that kind of stays with you. Even now, we we introduced uh, more girls, but Smurfette is, yeah, the girl. I did identify which one when I was a kid, so uh, that kind of stays um, with you through the years, I would say. Yeah. And other, other than that, uh, I think more the like the every character that's really funny, like the um, I, I love the baby Smurf, <laughs> <laughs> but also for example Asriel uh, because they bring so much humor to to the series, so. Um, yeah, definitely. And I've loved getting to know um, Blossom too. She's fun. Yeah. Yeah, she's uh, fun. So I'd love to hear um, about if you could share, Neela, a little bit about the animation style, what the animation process is for this series. Ooh, the animation process. Well, it's a 3D CGI series. Um, so that means it's all computer generated images. Um, I don't know how technically you want me to to go. Uh, yeah, animation style. I would say that we try to make it really um, poppy. You know, um, so that uh, there's a lot of um, stretch and squatch, so mm -hmm. that uh, you can go from one scene to another with just a, a movement that it's not really natural. So uh, an arm stretching in a way that's yeah. not humanly possible. Um, so we, we put a lot of things into that. Yeah, and it's very vibrant and joyful and that comes across on the screen, very playful. I love that very much. I'd love to hear from both of you um, what lesson or maybe reoccurring theme do you think families can learn from watching the Smurfs? Um, well, I think they're like fables in a way. Mm -hmm. you know? um, I think you have to read them and, and analyze them like that. I think that they're, they're fairy tales, they're fables with, with simple values where in fact, the, the, the characters themselves and their various personalities embody those values. And, yeah. and so in a rather simplified way, we as human beings, of course, have multiple um, sets of emotions and, and, and character traits. Well, with the Smurfs, of course, they're kind of like every, every one of them has a particular trait, which gives you then um, a, a great way of playing with these different Smurfs throughout the episodes and highlighting one or the other. Mm -hmm. to basically teach fundamental values. Um, but it's not necessarily like all, all the great values. It's also all the stuff that you're not supposed to do or, you know. So I think it kind of leaves it open to all of that. So, and, and retaining all the slapstick elements. So, you know, you have to keep it comedic and light and fun because it is entertainment. You want to throw in some values in there, which, which are important because I think everything kind of blends in. So I think that's, that's how I feel about it, at least. Well, that's how that's how I direct the actors. In, in any case, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's right, but I, that's the way we do it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get the question. So sorry, I was out for a couple of seconds. I, Zoom just threw me out. Of the oh, meeting, well, that's okay. So. I was just asking um, about. What do you think families could learn from watching the Smurfs? Oh, well, there, there's always a, a good message um, at the end of each story, but without it being, um, um, how would I say it? Um, like this, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know the word for it in, in English, but uh, that's that's really something that, that's important and also, uh, a lot of yeah the series had to uh, also incorporate the values that we that we um, have for the brand uh, since 
it, it first came to be uh, since, mm -hmm. since 58 already. So that means friendship, um, respect for nature, uh, respect for each other, teamwork. Um, so all of these things um, are in the series, but in a fun way. Yeah, it comes across very fun, but there's always some good nugget you can take from each episode. So yeah. thank you both for taking the time to chat with me. And thank you for these new fun adventures with these lovable, timeless characters. Well, uh, thank you. So thank, much. thank you for coming in. Thank you, Robin. It was a pleasure. <laughs>